What we've seen is, is people that we talk to often confide in us that they, they, they like playing games. They don't like playing social or using social care applications because they're boring. Games offer a terrific opportunity for people who are looking at new ways of innovating learning. And that carries right the way across from very early school right the way through to higher education's lifelong learning. If we think about, let's say that a company would like to find a creative solution for a certain program, well, I think this method is perfect because you never know what part participants can bring to the table. I think that being part of the Chat Today network is absolutely beneficial because you have a complete tool set uh, for free. We know that people always get challenged by playing games in whatever line of it that might be. And that could be somebody who's, who's uh, an older person who spends hours uh, playing games on their own for company and for fun. So game jams, uh, given that they're a mechanism whereby people can come together, can create new games, can share ideas and actually apply gaming in learning, is a terrific opportunity. Uh, I think during uh, such a game jam, uh, people who develop creative concepts can see how um, it can, uh, they can be executed actually, how they can be created, how they can be coded and see their products come alive. You are using different tools and programming skills, computational thinking skills, design skills to develop the games, both the playing the game and Doing and developing the game, designing the game, are a super good experience for, for this learning process. The methodology itself creates new ways of interactions and, and uh, it's, it's good for collaboration between the participants and teams themselves. You have like the toolkit, the infographic that explains how everything should be prepared, you know, either before, during and after the event. And you also have other interesting tools to evaluate, you know, games and productions. There's a clear buzz off coming off everyone and it's very infectious, you know, and everybody's talking about it and, you know, to a certain extent there's a community that kind of comes from that sort of sharing of ideas. And we know that that, that same um, passion for a challenge is something we can use in our social care applications. We all like to play, so it makes a lot of sense if you're trying to introduce learning that you add a playful element as well. I've not experienced anything like it. I think the closest you'll get to it is like musicians coming together and just jamming at a song, you know, it's the closest we get to it in the technology world. You have network, you have tools and explanations, you have examples there that you can check. I mean, you have everything, you have everything. The only thing you need is to react.